Yeah, fucking Will <laughs> Webster and fucking Miriam. Fuck you, Miriam. Bullshit. You think she's alive still? Rest in uh, peace if she's not. Nah, nah, she invented English. She's probably long gone. <laughs> she don't think she invented it. Yo, yo nigga said that Miriam Webster invented English. <laughs> we back. We black. Yes. We are black and back. Both East Coast natives living in California. Um, he's in LA. I'm in San Diego. Something's in a pot. If you came for serious shit, and if you came to be educated, you came to the wrong fucking place, buddy guy. We back. We black. We still gotta work on that. Yeah, but that was the first time at least we like were on the same page ish. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Like, we're reading the same, the same book. Might not be on the same page, but we're definitely reading the same Ooh, book. The same book. What book we're we reading? <laughs> uh, Catch Me in the Rye. <laughs> Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. I actually never read that shit. I didn't really see all spark notes. Take that, Mr. Yo, Thompson. Spark notes. That's a that's a concept. They changed the game with that shit. They did. They did. A full book without having to read a book. Amazing. Audiobooks changed the game too. Yo, just talk about it. Talk about it, bro. You you could be anywhere. It's like a podcast, but like, you know? It is. You could say is. I read a book and you didn't actually read that shit. Like you listened to it. That's facts. You just downloaded that shit into your brain. <laughs> you know what's fucked up? What's fucked up, bro? I mean, it's not fucked up, but like, you know, you're going, like this, I'd have infinite song lyrics in my head, but like a book, I'm like, uh. <laughs> Damn. Is that just black people on the whole? We got uh, we to do better. We, we, we got to do better. Yeah, we got to yeah. do better. But that's, I'm sure there's other things that we remember that's pointless too. Like this mad, like, Friday, Friday, got to get down on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yeah. I don't know where you downloaded that information from, <laughs> where that song came from, but props, respect. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But um, yeah, guys, we got a great uh, new fucking vibes for you for today's setup and fucking new episode. Yes. Um, we're fucking back, baby. We in L.A. Here, here. Our last episode, as you guys saw, was a little, little fucked up. A little bit. It was a little, little tragedy, you know, a little tech upset. <laughs> But uh, we, we made it work We did make it work Hey that's what life is about dog When shit when shit hits you And you get fucked up Just fucking roll with that shit You got it Make it happen When life gives you peas You make A pod soup oh, when, life gives you, when life gives you pods You make peas Hold on When life gives you peas You make a pod I, I guess so I guess, Two peas in a pod It's okay don't worry about it. No, no, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. No, it's I, okay, bro. I think I, I think I think oh, let's, let's, let's say it again. All right. So when life gives you peas, you make a pod. <laughs> no, that's ass. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, that was incorrect. It, yeah, like I don't think the way it works. You know what? Think about who makes those sayings. Who makes who gets to make those sayings yeah. a thing? Like, I, yeah. That's like who gets to who gets to decide what a word when a word is it gets to be a word. Who the fuck is Webster? That's facts. Where's he at? Oh, hold on. You about to, you got me. a lady? You got me fired up right now. And then it's Miriam. Fuck Miriam. Where's Miriam? Yo, fuck Miriam. <laughs> Seriously, like, fuck the shit out. Wait, well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, no. I meant, I meant, <clears throat> here's your time with the pod. What you meant to say. We promote all types of people and, and don't support any kind of mean action towards any humankind. <laughs> Oh my god! I meant to say. Need you mean to say? Fuck Miriam and fuck your words. <laughs> what I meant to say was fuck that. <laughs> oh oh my man. god! Um, but what I was gonna say is that back to go bring back to words. One thing I really hate, like mm. I really, really hate, like really, really, really hate, really, really fucking silent letters, bro. Like, silent letters. Make no sense. So look, check it out. They tell you to- Except for when Wayne said real G's- Real silence like, like lasagna. lasagna. That's which hard. Is bars. Yes. Shout out Wheezy F, baby. Wheezy. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. Mm-hmm. But back to my point before. They're just letters in a word that don't have any use. Yeah, what, what the hell? And everyone just goes along with it. So imagine I just put a fucking block in the middle of the street that like serves no purpose. <laughs> well, People just like, they're just like, oh, it's okay. Like- <laughs> We did, it's just how you spell the word. So like, <laughs> so you're wrong by spelling a word. They tell you to sound shit out all school. Yeah, don't tell me sound shit out and then tell and me that that word. Ass, <laughs> this is random ass letters. Like, nope, surprise. That's crazy. We got a Q in here today. Like, Dog. it's fucked up. Is that what it is in all languages? You think or no? I don't know. English likes to fuck you up for no reason. Anybody that comes here and learns how to how to like read and write English, props because that's that's just fucked up. That's facts. That's just all fucked up, bro. It's a whole different fucking universe. <laughs> It's a whole different fucking universe. You know, I, I realized I went out, I went to Brazil in 2019 mm-hmm. and 
I like didn't know <laughs> how to fucking <laughs> how to fucking no one no one I, this first time I was in a spot and I was like you people didn't speak the language yeah how the fuck people didn't talk? speak English <laughs> oh damn so I was in there just like uh, <laughs> and then Google Translate like <laughs> it gave me a lot of empathy for people that like came from other countries because I was like bro I don't know what the fuck people are saying and it would look at you like uh, yeah I wouldn't know I wouldn't. I, if I'm from another country and I've never heard English or like I barely hear English, I wouldn't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because even when people come from other places, you, like some of the words you can kind of understand, right? There, like, there, and there. Sure, there, there, and there. <laughs> hey, we'll think about that. Shit. What the fuck is there, there, and there? Who decided that shit? What's the other one? Fucking no, Webster. no, no, and no. Yeah, fucking Will. <laughs> Webster and fucking Miriam. Fuck you, Miriam. Bullshit. You think she's alive still? Rest in peace if she's not. Nah, nah, she invented English. She's probably long gone. <laughs> so I don't think she invented it. Yo, yo nigga said that Miriam Webster invented English. I'm gonna feel salty as fuck if she did, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead on a limb and say that she didn't invent English. No, nah, I know who invented English. <laughs> the Grimes rappers. <laughs> UK. Yo, UK. Man's them. Man's. Man's them invented English. They're the original Englishmen. They are. Yeah. They are. Big ups. We, you know everything. You know how many like new there are, like New York and New Jersey, New Hampshire. That's fact. It's all Hampshires in, in England, all Jerseys in England, all Yorks, and we just decided to take that shit and make it new. They, they just literally said, "Let's just make this shit new shit. Let's just take your <laughs> shit. We're gonna take the old thing. We're gonna remix it. We're gonna sample your whole country. <laughs> <laughs> sample the country. Yeah, sample the country. Put it on. Put it on the next mixtape. That's what he did, though. That's crazy. That's exactly what they did. And they decided that shit like a minute ago. Like, yo, we're gonna. Like I'm talking about original coloni- colonizers came with the names. <laughs> they were like, "Yo, we can't really think of what to call this place, but we are gonna kick the Indians off and call it something else." That's fucked up. <laughs> That's so many levels of plagiarizing, fucking taking pillaging, shit, pull- pillaging, crazy shit. Yo, the world's a crazy place back in the white day. White people, <laughs> no, <laughs> yo. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh. <laughs> Mm. Nah, the, the old school Europeans was wild, bro. Old school Europeans, yes. They was wild. I mean, yes. it's a lot of school Europeans as well. A lot of school Europeans as well. Yeah, we should get like a live like... Oh, we, we do. Clap this machine face. here, this new machine we got set up for our mics. I'm a, Don't worry about it. Next pod, that's a promise. I'm going to have all sounds on here. Mm, You're not gonna, we're, I'm not going to clear it with you because I just want you to react. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Can we get like the Mario... What a, what a, what a, what a, oh, what a, see, you're giving me ideas. That's dangerous. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, you know what I just got back again? Um, well, not back again because it's a new one, but Crash Bandicoot. Ooh, classic. Fiery, bro. Classic. Crash Bandicoot, Need for Speed Underground, uh, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, and NBA Volume 2, NBA Street Volume 2. Oh, my God. I'm classics. talking about classics. classics. Spiral 2, any Spyro? Bro, they have, they have Spyro in the new Crash Bandicoot. Together? Yes, bro. He, dude, my, my girl was playing um, like the adventure mode and that motherfucker just popped up in there. What Crazy. the fuck? Spyro and Cla- Crash Spyro Bandicoot and Crash together? Bandicoot, bro. Bro, what the hell? What was one of your favorite video games as a kid? Uh, if we're talking about as or a now. kid. Well, Sonic for sure. Sonic the Hedgehog. I, I mean, come on, bro. Sonic is a classic. Yeah, bro. The super fast. Just oh, yeah. Run around, collect the rings and the fucking boss, the big boss, big fucking red nigga. What the fuck his name was? What's his name? <laughs> Egghead. Egghead. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Doctor something. They're always a doctor something. Yeah, always a doctor. How are these doctors fucked up? How did how they all get so evil? Yeah, why do I always make evil doctors? Why can't it be like the evil fucking like janitor? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the janitor that became powerful? Yo, the evil, the fucking sick ass janitor was like, that's it, this is it. I'm done. Why? I'm, I'm done scrubbing toilets. It's the last toilet I'll ever scrub. You wash your own shit, motherfucker. <laughs> Call oh, me the shitinator. <laughs> the shitinator? Uh, nah. Nope. Oh, I'm canceled. <laughs> oh, I'm canceled. I'm fucking canceled. One of my favorite games as a kid was Pokemon Silver. Bing, oh, bing, bing. Bing. We getting there. We getting there. Finally famous. <laughs> Finally famous, niggas. Yo, remember back in the day when um, I first showed you guys Big Sean and y'all laughed at me? I laughed at you for Big Sean? Somebody did. Somebody Ozzie, I don't did. think Ozzy laughed at you. Somebody either, laughed like, yo, who is this? Who is this we laughed at you for Drake, and we talked about that last episode. We did, we did. And I, we did. I'll own that shit, but Big Sean, I don't think I laughed at you for I think I, I listen to Big Sean. I don't know who like, was. Heavy. Yo, the old Still. school. No, no school like the old school. Dude, know? finally famous, nigga. Finally famous. I can't believe that the shit that we used to listen to, like, think about all those rappers you had So long ago. Day. So long ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, like the old head rappers now. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, The weekend finally getting 
like to super 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 start him now. Yeah, man, like crazy. he was a superstar, but like Super Bowl, that's the mark of a superstar. That is, that so, is, that's new, that's new tears. That was new insane. Flows, got new flows. It's fucking crazy. But we've been Wiz Khalifa, fucking you know, yeah. Mac rest in peace. Like all those people, we've been listening to them since like early high school, which is crazy for real, man. It's fucking nuts. It's insane. And, and there's so many new artists now. Like I think like, we're finally at the point now where I'm like, damn, like. I don't even know what new artists come from anymore. Yo, that's a fact, bro. <laughs> that's a fact. Who's the who's the the, the homie told us about a new one today? Oh, Something shiesty. Shiesty. I was like, damn, like I don't who that, know who, who that, is. that is. Yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna get torn we, apart. We, we about, you don't know who the fuck shiesty is. But hopefully, I don't think our, I think our audience is still like kind of our age, so it's all right. that's true. We like mid twenties. So. That is true. That is true. If we was like twenty one, they'd be like, yo, you don't know about this. You like, don't know. You don't know a goddamn thing. Stay in the loop, niggas. Stay in the loop. But it's just, I feel like no matter what you do, like. Your favorite era of time is just gonna be your favorite era, and everything else is gonna be like. Eh. That's so true. That's always that's so true, bro. That's facts. Like I think most of my favorite time of music, especially hip hop, was like, like right after high school, at like twenty eleven, maybe twenty, maybe two thousand, like eight, nine to like twenty twelve ish. Like Watch <laughs> the Throne was like pinnacle for me. That's uh, that for sure. Watch the Throne. It was, all right, so for me, what like what made me get into hip hop. Like when I wanted to pay attention to like like hip hop pop culture type shit was the fake Fifty Cent Kanye beef and how the niggas scammed everybody, <laughs> sold mad albums. Yeah, but that I think that was one of the big ones too. That Kanye was, was one of the first rappers who got me into hip hop. Yeah, like, hell yeah, he really got me into that shit. He and was then like so different. And then Wayne was the first rapper that made me want to replay a song mad times and just listen to the lyrics to hear what the fuck that nigga just said. Oh my gosh, that was the first one, bro. Little Wayne, fucking. Little Wayne fucking Jesus Christ. Jesus. What's what's your favorite Little Wayne bar? And oh. it can't be Rosie's Moon Sounds like Lasagna. Nah, of course not, bro. There's so many. Jesus. I don't know, bro. It might have been so, it might have been one of the, one of his bars off uh Sky's the Limit. Cause that was that was uh that was after Hurricane Katrina, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was just I don't know, man. Some something about that song made me feel like I need to go out and like do something. <laughs> Young ass fucking middle schooler. God damn, I don't even have a fucking driver's license yet. I was just ready to go do something. I don't, I don't remember that exact bars, but I just, I just remember that song itself being like, yo, this is this is the shit right here. Wayne's fucking bars, it was the shit, because Wayne's fucking bars just give you fucking chills sometimes. Like, Bro. When No Ceilings came out, I feel like oh my that was like gosh. a time, like my entire this world was like, what the fuck? Oh my gosh. Dude, No Ceilings came out around the same time that um my doctor's, the, the next year, Beautiful Darkness and Fantasy came out. Yeah, and bro. then this, that same year, Blueprint 3 came out. Bro, that was a great era time for music, man. Like, <laughs> Holy shit! That's that, and that was in that area I was talking about. Like that was like the pinnacle, like my shit. Like yeah, no ceilings, motherfucker. Good, good morning. morning, dick in your mouth while you yawning, gone. I didn't want to start to be. I didn't want to be. I bring it to you. I'm not gonna keep going, but <laughs> that shit was like fucking. But look, mad rap. Like I said, mad rap lyrics in your head, and it's like a book. I'm like, uh, I don't. I don't remember what equals MC squared equals. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, but you know what's crazy is that a lot of a lot of these, and they know it too. A lot of these new niggas would not exist if it wasn't for Wayne because Wayne spawned so many children. Children. That's facts. The whole everything right now is a Wayne's kids. Dog, all Wayne's kids. <laughs> the dreads. He's put out an old album called Wayne's Kids. Bro, he they but From, the thing is that he's still accepted by him too. Like there's a lot of some rappers that yeah. did transfer over to the new wave, but Wayne is still loved. Yeah, hell yeah, man. They know they know who the fuck he is. That's Con- facts. Kanye too, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh eight oh eight heartbreaks definitely inspired a majority of the sound that came out too. Just oh my god, like, yeah, bro. Come on, people were hating on Auto tune. Auto tune is live and well still today. So live and well. They hate on it so much. Yeah. Jay Z tried to kill that shit. He did. <laughs> and it did. didn't didn't it, work out. It didn't work at all. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. It always heartbreak. I remember when first came out, I play that shit. I still play it a lot now, but that shit was like that. that sh- I will say I'm gonna go ahead and put it on wax that I did not accept that album when it first came out because I just I didn't I didn't understand it. That was before my brain matured enough to have like good taste in music. And I was like, yo, what the fuck is this? Alone, nice, I'm alone. Oh <laughs> I was like, what is, what is this man singing about, bro? And then I go back and listen to it now. Bro, the sounds, the 808s, it's fucking incredible. those drums on Robocop. What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> that shit taught me how to, like, feel pain. I was like, I was like <laughs> yo, 10 years old, like, she's the baddest bitch I ever seen. <laughs> come like, on. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Wayne kids, a lot of Kanye kids. A lot of fucking just feels, man. Hella kids, bro. Hella fucking killed. Um, I also think about like people like Juice World. Like that's another one who like really embodied a lot of the sounds that came up. He did, he's, bro. He's a young that's legend too, man. Rest in peace, young, Juice. Young legend, bro. I feel like yeah. While even while he was up, um, up and alive and well, 
there were people that were quote unquote biting his style. But it wasn't. I guess in today's time, like bite everybody bites each other's style. So we can't even call it that. It's just like I guess everybody just very much inspired by everybody else, and it is what it is. That's just how it is now. You know. It is how it is, man. It really is. I think it's just like there's just so much, just like like I don't know. The sound just so different, just so melodic that like I feel like no matter what, you can't like. There's only so many pockets I feel like you can hit with the melody thing. That's that very you end up true, just bro. Falling into different pockets, you know. I'm I'm excited to see what because obviously this shit is not gonna last forever because it doesn't it never does it like never does music history of music has told you that so I'm excited to see like what the next shit is. But this is not a music podcast. It's not. A but music we love podcast. we love fucking we music, do love so. fucking music. So every once in a while you might get this <laughs> musical deep dives. Yes, absolutely. Little, little hip hop, little pop, a little fucking, especially as former rappers. Oh, that's facts. <laughs> that's facts. Oh, oh man, oh, man, so much, so much weed was smoked. <laughs> Yo, so much, so the, much marijuana. The fact that even like we were even trying to be rappers is just so funny to think about. Just like, hilarious, but bro. it just taught us so much shit though. Yeah, too. nah, improv. That shit taught me improv. Yeah, that's facts. Freestyle and shit, going Bro. to the parties, like you remember back in the day. So back in the day, we used to have a we we were like the the frat house of our town, like our college years, <laughs> legendary times. Yeah, we were at Green Tree Road. I'm not gonna put the full address out there because people might actually go to the house. But <laughs> yeah, the- <laughs> Yo, roll up to the is this a two something boy's house? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that shit was funny, man. Just young kids doing all types of fuckery and like we don't Bro. condone here. Dude, something's in a pot. We don't condone underage drinking. No, no, never that. Never, never that. Never, never, never. But there was mad underage drinking at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in the house, we were all fucking underage. Yeah, man. And somehow, somewhere, we found our way to get that. We did. Man. Good, good shit for we, sure. We Actually, now nah, we drank absolute trash. Burnets, oh God, Keystone, oh, Keystone kegs, not Keystone kegs, <laughs> bro, oh, not Keystone. Keystone kegs. No. But the vibes were almost always fucking right. Always, that house yeah, was right. packed. We had the DJ downstairs and shit. We getting smoked upstairs. We smoked downstairs. Weed in the backyard. Yeah, Cops only came once in the entire year we were living there. That was crazy. I turned twenty and twenty one at the house party. Oh my place. god, Bo- dude! The first and last party we had was your birthday parties. That's legendary. That is legendary. That's crazy. I wouldn't have it any other way. That shit was hard. I wouldn't have it any other way either, man. I appreciate it, you know. Brothers. Yeah. Brothers, absolutely. It's crazy ass times, man. It's also crazy how much we like fucking matured. Like thinking about how going back then we were like, oh man, yo, we can't do shit because we can't party. You know, here, <laughs> man. And I was like, I really don't feel like partying much. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, bro, like that shit sounds exhausting. It's super, bro. If I, I always say like I would go back and do it again, but I would have to be that same age. Like I could never do that shit now. That's fact. That's yeah. that's coming up on washness. <laughs> Wash this with the washcloth. You wash. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, extra wash, bro. Extra um, wash. Oh my god, dog! It's so fucking funny. <laughs> so fucking funny, man. So decades that new uh, decades. That new Spider Man is coming out. Apparently, yeah. Like, I saw. I saw a little mini trailer. Fucking Spider Verse or the new the new Spider Man. It's all of them, right? It's like Toby. Oh, uh, it's all of them in one. I, I see. I so I except for Andrew. I think I. I, I don't remember if I, I didn't see the clip for the new one, but I remember I heard someone talking about they doing the Spider Verse with all the Spider Man, like real Spider human mm-hmm. Spider Man that were Spider Man. Oh, okay. But what one did you see? I don't know. <laughs> I just saw I saw uh, all right, so I think I saw a teaser. I saw a teaser with uh with uh Tom Holland, Zendaya and um Tom Holland's friend. That's disrespectful. I'm gonna find out his name. But <laughs> the, the dude Spider Man like the, the, the like the Spider Man's friend in 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 Homecoming. Okay, whoever okay. that nigga yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what him. I saw. What did you see? Okay, I didn't see, but I heard people talking about oh. there's a, there's a Spider Man like a there's a Spider Verse, a human like, Spider Human Spider Verse. Oh, that's dope. And it's gonna have Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, and maybe Garfield. I don't know. But um, <laughs> <laughs> so we were talking about earlier. We were talking about which Spider Man is the one that deserves to go, and I. I, to me, he's a good actor. Andrew Garfield, I, I don't, how do you feel about it? Andrew Garfield had to fucking go. That shit was garbage. <laughs> like, if Thanos went, that was the first one to go. <laughs> Goodbye. Yo, why was he? I don't know. Mm, he just was two, no. Or one of them got, one of them got dipped. I, nah, think he got, he, I think he got he replaced. Did, he did the, he did two. The first one was I think it was a lizard, and the second one was with Jamie Foxx's electrode. <laughs> and that shit was like, oh no. It was just like, nah. Thank God they got Tom Holland in there because he's way better. Dude, that's way facts. better Spider Man. He looked like Spider Man. Like he does look like he he fits it, man. He he's, does. I think he might be. I, 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 I can't like hate on Toby either, but I think he he plays the part of like like sarcastic, 
um, like childish, but like still ready to rumble when when the shit gets to it. Spider Man, which is who I think Spider Man is. He definitely fits Spider Man the most. I think Toby's always gonna have the OG because he just was in the game for sure first. So like I never mind his. He was like he was Spider Man, but Tom I am <laughs> Tom came into the throne like he's 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 the Spider King, Spider Boy. <laughs> Don't call it, do not call that man Spider Boy. <laughs> Spider Boy. But <laughs> you, you know, um, someone told me I, I don't know if this is true or not, but we gonna scroll up, roll with it. Mm. So, so someone told me that the Miles Morales, like the the Black Spider Man, yeah, the reason that he even like exists is because they were trying to get Childish Gambino, Donald Glover, to be Spider Man. Damn, that would be hard. And then and then they just they didn't give him the spot, but they made like a Black Spider Man based off him. But that could be oh. false too But I don't know how true That actually is But if Donald Glover Was Spider-Man That'd be amazing That would've been amazing but that's, that's I, I don't know the actor's name That did it But he killed it as well He did He, he did. bodied it And the Spider-Verse Was a dope ass movie like. They got Oscars for that shit though Yeah, I think they did <laughs> Come on Dope movie Dope soundtrack Dope, dope animation Dope animation Dope shit Dope bees <laughs> Dope bitty dope bitty dope 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 bitty dope Oh um, And then I saw I mean, We ain't gonna talk about it too much Cause I don't even know too much about it But I also saw They have some new Spider-Man spinoff Like Smallville type thing But But like It's about Spider-Man and Lo- Like or sorry Not Spider-Man Superman spinoff um, It's about Lois and and, Sp- and Superman I don't know I don't think it's much energy That should be put into it <laughs> Oh it sounds like It's gonna be horrible right? <laughs> Nothing about that Should sound good It's Smallville But it's not Smallville It's, it's Lewis and Clark It's Lewis and Spider-Man not, I'm probably just, It's a Lewis and Clark <laughs> <laughs> Yo bring it back To the pioneers Sacagawea <laughs> Oh no Not Sacagawea Oh my oh, god Give yourself a dollar piece <laughs> <laughs> dollar piece Oh yeah Yeah we, we, was gonna, we was gonna skip past that one Yeah um, But um We can capture this moment In uh, NFTs NF Yo good segue mm. Terrible moment to capture Wouldn't Wouldn't mint it <laughs> Wouldn't mint that shit at all Wouldn't mint that So NFTs man I, I, I had mentioned um, Not that I'm some Fucking Adonis Or anything But I had mentioned The idea of NFTs I just didn't know That it was called NFTs Last podcast, I talked about being able to uh, assign basically like a digital certificate of authenticity to your digital art. Um, And I didn't know what the phrasing for that was. And I knew that it was a thing that was happening and it's been happening. But now it's becoming it's becoming a thing like faster than I I ever thought would happen, period. Like technology is going to be a thing where now you can digitally basically license anything you want. You could mint a moment like NBA Top Shot is minting moments which means that they are authenticating moments and licensing them to the number and i that's the only way i could really describe it it's all based on the blockchain and this is not a technical podcast so you don't get too deep into it but just know that nfts which stands for non-fungible tokens is going to be probably the next big thing happening right now it's fucking crazy look into that shit (laughs) From we, we were in a clubhouse room. Oh yes, and uh, Gary V was talking about with a bunch of people, and I still don't really fully understand the whole concept of it. No, me neither. But I, from the basis of what I understand, is like basically you make you can make if you make art or if you make art. If so, anything you take collectibles, collectibles, you can digital. make a digital version of it yes. that is solidified a one of one. So you get like a almost like a social security number of an item that is. It for di- itself digitally that kind of always exists. And if anybody tries to steal it, you can always, 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 so- somewhere or another, you'll be able to find it. And you can always say, I own this shit. It's on the blockchain. And you don't have to prove it because it's publicly available. Everybody, everybody can see that shit. So that's, that is huge, bro. So you and can go back into the glossary and be like, oh, no, actually, I belong to exactly. fucking Ozzy Macintosh. Exactly, bro. And oh, there's a bunch of platforms. There's, um, one that I found that I'm using because it's free to mint stuff. It's called Mintable. Um, there is Rarible, which I think is like the big one. There's OpenSea, which is like a combination of, of like all of them. And um, there's a few other ones that are you have to like get accepted to. And you have to basically put an application and they have to kind of know that you're an active artist and you're not just some scammer, um, which I think is also a good, there's a place for that too, you know? So I'm just excited to see what other platforms pop up. And I'm ex- I mean, I don't know, I'm actually looking into, you know, ideas of maybe creating our own platform or my own platform that could, you know, work for doing commissions. 
And I'm just putting it out there in the world. You know, you never know. <laughs> That's facts, man. Yeah. We can make any moment. So we can make this podcast clip right here. Yes, sir. And sell it for millions of dollars. Rarity. So, so the, want to buy it. So I guess what we should get, like, talk about is the idea of what makes NFTs um, uh, valuable is the idea of real life. Like, art is valuable because of the rarity. And because you're assigning one of ones or one of five, um, you're, you're giving rarity to these digital objects through the use of NFTs. That is why they are valuable. And again, it could be anything, anything that you can think of that can, that is valuable in the real world. Um, like, like you said, moments, probably the most valuable thing in fucking like moments, but basically like icing a moment in time, putting it in digital form and saying that I own it. Basically, if I buy this moment, I own it. And maybe 500 or so other people own the moment as well, you know, or, you get to decide. You're the creator. You get to decide how many people can own that moment. And because of that rarity, that's what gives it that value. That's fucking hard. It is. My question what the is, fuck? <laughs> my question is, that's hard as fuck. My question is, if someone, like, let's say I meant a moment, like I meant like a concert, which is like, I record a concert clip. This is great. It's, but then like, it's still like the artist's footage of the music, but you minted it. So like, it's yours, even though it's someone else's in it. You know what yeah, I mean? That's gonna be, that's, I think it's going to be one of the things that comes down to uh, like, and like licensing, you know, with like mm-hmm. the NBA and shit. Like I know that I know that they hire their own. Every team hires their own, um, their own camera people. And I know there's that. Oh yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I wore this motherfucking shirt uh, two episodes ago. But uh, we repping stay ready. Black entrepreneurs. Is that a French word? Entrepreneurs. Uh, I feel like I feel like if you say any word a certain way, it's something is. Yeah. It's something is. Hundred percent something is. <laughs> Something is uh, That's great Oh put that shit in Webster's Yeah Cause we get the Cause you know If Miriam got fucking authority We got authority too That's facts Fuck yeah, Miriam Well yeah. I already said that before But <laughs> <laughs> But yeah This double green wasn't planned either We kinda just Set this up Yeah we were out We were out Should've recorded that pod earlier But it's alright Don't worry about it We were out just you know Roaming And there was a lot of shit That was funny as fuck Probably should've recorded it And you know we Might be Might have a little A little some, some new sessions coming because of that. I think today spawned that idea it for sure. It spawned some new ideas. New somethings. <laughs> new somethings. <laughs> new yeah, somethings. Because we're not just funny when the mic's on. Funny when the mic's off. Wax on, wax off. <laughs> mic's on, mic's off. <laughs> camera's on, camera's off. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. But, um... All right, so let's go back to the Spider-Man conversation. I feel like we fucked it up like 10 times already. <laughs> Do we actually? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. So... I heard that there's a new um, Spider-Man coming out. We fucked this shit up. Fuck Andrew Garfield. <laughs> Fuck Spider- uh, Tom Holland's the best Spider-Man. It's our third day talking about Spider-Man. So once again, fuck Andrew Garfield being Spider-Man. I love him as an actor, but Spider-Man was not his shit. Yeah, he's not your move, nigga. I'm sure one day I'm going to meet that nigga and dap him up, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm probably going to act like I never said that shit, most likely, because oh, I'm you. fake. You got to. <laughs> but like, it's no beef to him personally. It's just beef to him as nah, Spider-Man. Absolutely. But like, yo, um... I really love your work, except for Spider Man. Except you, for Spider Man, you, you fucked up on that. <laughs> you done fucked up, my guy. Not, but, not the right move. Yeah, no. But um, is he English? I don't know. That nigga, that nigga, he doesn't speak. He's not American. I know that. It's crazy. Like how you Tom can, Holland too. How you practice not to have English like a, your accent to act? Like think Yo, about that shit. First of all, anybody, anybody that is again, if you can pretend to be English, I don't, first of all, I don't even know what that means. If you can come here and have an English accent, like English from here. Not English from uh, be American English, American English, which and have is like British accent, the fake English. That's crazy. Just getting a, get, trying to get uh, blah, 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 trying to get an accent overall is fucking nuts. Like you talk like this, but you learn to talk like this instead. I don't know what accent that is. <laughs> was that what that the was, fuck? That was something. Oh, uh, Disney Dom. <laughs> oh no, not Disney Dom. <laughs> and you're watching Disney. <laughs> Oh um, yeah, that was something. Else. You gotta be careful there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't cancel. Not really. Me. Nah, it's Don't fine. Fuck me. that. Fuck that. Fuck that. This is this is the offensive podcast. The mob is outside. Like, get him. <laughs> Kill the witch. <laughs> Kill the yo. Salem witch trial was a wild time. See, that's that guy goes back to that, that old New crazy. England, New York, old old fucking colonizer Where was time Salem? shit. That's I what? think it's in Connecticut. Yeah, I think I'm gonna say right. it's in Connecticut. That sounds like a place that there would be niggas looking for witches and shit. Yeah, like looking for witches and these. Kill the witch, yo. So the thing Kill was, the witch. yo, they, if they would like put, they would like drown you or something. They would put you in the middle on a lake or some shit like that. And if you survived, you were a witch. But if you died, you were human. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, dude, we just tossing niggas in lakes <laughs> yeah. and seeing if we float or not. Like, it was, it was a wild. Oh, yo, 
Sink or swim, bitch. Sink or swim. <laughs> and like, if you survive, you're getting killed for being a witch. Like, that is the wildest shit ever. Wild, wild. Yo, there was wild times, dog. <laughs> like, people were fucking crazy. Wait, oh my God, bro. That's crazy, bro. So did it did, were there actual witches? Like they like they the witches did the witches believe they were witches themselves? I don't know. I think it was probably just like propaganda. Propaganda. And Otherwise, it was, the right word. It, but it was we like, like to use big words out here. So yeah, bro. We, <laughs> you know, we we told you fuck dictionary, so we making making this shit up on ourselves. Oh, yeah, propagizis. Yeah, propagiz. Oh no, propagizis. <laughs> was that was propagizis? Oh <laughs> no. There we go. Put put that in Webster's. Where's Miriam? Where, where, where? level that shit the fuck up. She probably got family that's still alive. We should be careful. That's facts. I'm yeah. so sorry, Miriam, to the family. Here at the Two Somethings Podcast, we really love everyone, including Miriam and people that make words. Nah, see, fuck that. Nah, you can't just make words without... They don't ask everybody, though. They just decide that it's a word now. Nah, that's facts. There needs to be a consensus of how words are going to be. Public, yeah. Absolutely. Especially if it's English. Like, it's not that many niggas you got to survey. So go ahead, survey everybody. Be like, yo, we're about to add bloop dee bloop to the fucking dictionary. Bloop it's going to mean bloop. blackly black. Is that cool with you? Oh, and no, we all be no, like, no. I don't know, my G. I don't know. That might not fly around here. You know? Let's right. come up on your phone. A survey come up on your phone. The same way you get the fucking text for, or from the, when the Yo, fucking phone comes Yo, the emergency, the Amber yeah, Alerts? Like, <laughs> like, fuck your whole phone, bro. We go right in your shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I would love... I would, Yo, honestly, if I saw that Miriam Wester wants to know, would you like... If that shit flash up on my phone... I'm gonna be like, no, every time, just to fuck with them. Nah, <laughs> fuck that shit. That's not a word. Just straight hating. Hating, bro. That's all right. We can make our own dictionary. We can. Urban dictionary is a thing, which means that it we is. can make our own dictionary. It is. We can make our own dictionary. We are urban. And all the power from the world comes from the words you say. And black The people. words you speak and the words you think. <laughs> words excellence. Black excellence. Black excellence. Excellence, excellence. I gotta find better ways to end it. Like, I get, like, I get there and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, straight fucking Mario sounds fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I saw? What you see, bro? I saw this thing. Um, so I saw I saw a clip of someone else talking about it. So you know, I didn't actually read the actual article. So you getting third? We still, co- we still get, content here. Yeah, you getting third? You getting third source news? Yeah, absolutely. But it was like Bill Gates talking about how like by twenty thirty, we should, everyone should be eating a plant based diet and get stop eating beef because beef is something about the. Something about the beef, the beef ozone layer. fucking up the environment. Yeah, yeah. and Somehow. I was thinking, well, I'm still eating meat, so fuck Bill Gates. First of all, that, <laughs> that he has no control what the fuck I'm gonna eat. But I'm just like, I understand Bill Gates is a rich guy, and like, he has too much. He, be, he's, he can't be saying shit like that. He's just making what well, he just be making decrees like, like he's the king of England. Like, yo, like <laughs> Bill Gates said, we gotta have no shit by twenty. Like he just be he's Bill Gates just be saying shit. Yeah, and like that's true. people are like, oh man, Gates said this, and you know I don't know what he knows. I don't know what he does, but like. He's not voted. He's not elected. He's not elected official. Like no one chose Bill Gates to become the fucking king and just same. Over the, he's Bill Gates to be saying shit and it becomes news. And we we're like, oh, maybe we should do that. And but that's I, all. I, that's I, all powerful people though. Like Elon. Elon could say something right now and everybody's on the fucking edge of their seat. That's facts. That's why facts. is that? Because he's he's money. I, I money, it's money. Power, it's right? money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Never mind. I answer my own question. Two of the richest niggas in the world. If we anybody's, if either of them say some shit, everybody believes them because they're rich. That's facts, but we. I just, I just want a little more. Like you, like saying Absolutely. that we should get rid of beef by in ten, in nine years. It's just like, no. Like, I think you know, I, I, for that, okay, that I think there's more context behind it as far as because there's course, so many context. people eating beef and the way that they produce the beef and all this shit. I'm sure, I'm sure that that shit does sound like it might be fucking up the ozone layer or some shit. But uh, yeah, I need more context, and I need them to teach me that in school. <laughs> a lot, a lot more context, because yeah. like, they, is it is is it. Like there's no way just the beef itself because cows are just like nature. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. If it's the beef industry, then it's like okay, what things are they doing in the industry to change it? Like they just take something that they take a problem, yeah, and then relate it to something simple, yeah, and then try to get everyone to say fuck to something simple. No, yeah, you're very, you're very right, bro. That's I'm just like, true. bro, like the, we need context. We have to just say certain like things. Just need to be. We need more simple stuff. More, more in between. More of the steps in between before we like, yo. Yeah, I don't eat beef anymore. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, nah, I agree. Nah, fuck you, Gates. I'll eat all the fucking McChicken. I mean, not McChicken. <laughs> fucking beef patties I want, bro. McChickens? <laughs> bro, I had a Big Mac like two years ago, and I wanted to die right after. I was like, yo, why did I do this to myself, bro? That yeah. shit is that shit is material. <laughs> it's not even beef, bro. Yo, material? <laughs> Wait, yo, I, that's a material. Yo, I Mc- said material, but oh. material might be what it is. Yo, it, 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 all McDonald's food is material. <laughs> Oh, that's a bar right there. 
material. Yo. They got material. They, they got material fries, material beef patties. They got material. Le- Dude, the material cheese on that shit was crazy fucking plastic, bro. Mad plastic. Disgusting. Mad plastic. The bun wasn't. The bun was. Dude, you, the bun? How do you fuck up a bun? <laughs> bro, and, and the, you ever seen the videos when they're like, yeah, I had this make, make something for two years or 10 years and shit looks exactly the same or like <laughs> some little bit of mold? Like, that shit is crazy. Oh my God. I used to, McDonald's was my first job, so I had a lot of time working there. But I used to eat that shit all the time when I worked there. I don't eat <laughs> that shit at all now, it. though. Nah, dude, trust me. When I first started working at Domino's, on my first job, bro, that's all I ate. Oh. At least Mad I'll, fucking cheesy breads. Yeah, bro. At least, but you, at least <laughs> you were a teenager, so you had the body for that shit. That's true. Eating that shit now is like. Nah, that's death. That is R.I.P. Yes. R.I.P. 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 Sorry. I just, sometimes <laughs> you just got to sing a little bit. Sometimes. But in other news, uh, Jay-Z got a new uh, new deal. Respect. Respect. Congratulations. Moet. Was it Moet and Duce? I don't remember what alcohol it was. So he brought, I think he brought Duce over to. The, Moet has a, Moet has a has a another name to it some shit it's like Armand Moet some shit gotcha the big company yeah it's like a, it's like a bigger company and I I want to say one of them signed to the other one um, all I know is that that's a big fucking deal yeah it's a big deal niggas is getting money mad money mad so bro. congratulations to Jay Z Sean Carter also fu- known I fully as I fully believe that man still has another five to ten years of rapping left in him did you hear that verse on, on the Nipsey fucking song bro? I did what the hell I did. <laughs> shit was. Fuego. What's going on? <laughs> the, but the, the subtle Drake compo, I don't know if it was a diss. A compliment. I think it was a compliment slash like it was like it was like I see you nigga type shit. But, but like, it was kind of like, like remember I'm still the nigga. Yeah, like, he's <laughs> like yo I see you, but like you still a little boy. He called him Aubrey. Like you know what I mean? He was like Aubrey's his name, but you don't call him Aubrey like. If you, like no one's calling him Aubrey on a verse to be like they ain't, they ain't buddy true. buddies, you know what I mean? It's well, like, oh. I don't know, we don't know that. That's but that you know he might be right. Like more likely than not, they're not buddy buddies, and don't call me, don't call me. Like my name, right? I'm gonna tell everybody my name. My name is not Ozzy McIntosh, it's Osborne. If I don't know you, don't fucking call me Osborne. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I'll slap this shit out. Of you. Like it's <laughs> no. just like it just there's a, there's a little bit of like oh it was like a it was like a backhanded compliment. I feel yeah. like I don't know their relationship. I don't know how they are. No, me neither. They but, might be they might be like the best of friends. But still, like Aubrey on a verse on a public asset. Like, who's ever called Drake Aubrey? I that wasn't listening to him, right? Yeah, hey, you're right. That's true. You're right, you're right, you're right. You know what I mean? But it's, <laughs> it, it works. You know what I mean? It's, it's cool. Because no, nobody's just throwing Sean on a verse, like, doing That's some true. shit like Sean. Like, this is a, it's a little more respect you put yeah, on Yeah, even back in the day when they were, when they were going ham, he, they, nobody ever called him. Nobody ever called that nigga Sean. That's crazy. None. Zero. But that's just how the game is, man. Yeah, I think, uh, but sneak dissing is like one of my favorite things in hip hop because it's just like it's so out of like it's just a, it's just a funny thing that like you really have to look between the lines to like see what people are saying and like get what get what it's about, you know. That's true. Like I think that's a fit. Like for me, the reason why oh let me fix my mic real quick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, the reason why I feel like uh like if somebody can come out and diss straight up raw and like not say shit. Where they're like trying to mask anything That's I respect that But I also respect the art of being able to hide the disc Not even hide till it's like I'm being pussy But hide Mask the disc inside of a verse To where everybody else Has to fucking create the story You know I think that's hard too There's an art in that Like create, creating buzz around the disc By not like being too too clear That's dope I think that's really dope I think it's one of the best things Because sometimes There's so much stuff in hip hop Like you end up There's so many like beef That people have That like It's not enough of beef For you to get promotion out of it Because you don't want to make Someone someone bigger Yeah that's that's true There's also that But then you also gotta be like Yeah I see you But like you gotta know You ain't on my level Cause like Yeah you ain't You ain't ain't, ain't mean Yo man It's it's just What the fuck is you Mad sneak this (laughs) Oh man The sneak this Good times Good times. I'm like I'm so glad I, that I didn't become a big enough rapper to the point where I had to diss somebody. I feel like that's mad energy. Oh, it's definitely mad. Energy. That's mad energy that I don't want to spend. That's like right now if I responded to somebody on Twitter and just went off on. That's true. That's you, you know it's one of the only art like art forms period where you can like diss somebody openly and it's like widely accepted. Imagine like a country singer try to diss another country singer on a song. That's so true. <laughs> That wouldn't work. There isn't like any other field at all. Even like just besides music, there's no other field that like. Period. Hip hop's kind of like gladiator shit. Like it's it like, is. It's like verbal gladiators. Hip hop is like UFC in the fucking octagon. Like it is. They're just going for blood, trying to break fucking limbs and bash brains in. Ruin everything about you. Every- <laughs> you are hiding a child. <laughs> Sorry, push your teeth. Everybody doesn't know. Throw the push your teeth bar Yo, in there. <laughs> that shit. That shit just changed the fucking that was game, good. bro. That did. Yeah. Now. Nah, 
He, he won that. Uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and say he won that. Yeah, he oh, if we talk about bars, he won that. He shit. won that shit, man. Yeah. That's that. I mean, but like, damn, that too is that too far? I, I didn't try. I don't think that was too far. That's my other the shit about forty. I was kind of like, eh. yeah, but I ain't trying to. Yo, respect. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all want no smoke push. I want no smoke push. Yo, talk about real ass like, legend. Like nobody, nobody's playing push T after that mm-hmm. shit. I heard that shit and I was like, oh well, not that I was gonna ever get in a rap beef, but definitely not fucking with Pusha T. Definitely not, bro. Definitely not. <laughs> and nigga just slice your whole head off. Literally. Whole head, whole head. But we we were praying for a rap. Not praying. Let me say that. We wanted a verbal. A verbal rap beef. I need for, a fucking rap beef. For an, for an I need to stop being pussy. I need some rappers to be fucking ripping each other apart for sure. I need that shit. Yeah. Verbally. 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 <laughs> verbally. Yes. I also want um. I also want some people to do some. Uh, we need. We haven't had like the top a top rapper song come together. Like you know they have forever. Oh, that's coming swagger this year. Like us. Yeah. They were waiting for shit to open up. Well, they Damn, better. Swagger like well, when Swagger like us came out, that was another moment. It was the remix. Ah, oh my god, it was, and like no one else, they never like no one like the next wave that we never got like the Drake, Cole, Kendrick. That's facts. You know what I mean, That's Travis. Where the fuck is it? We always know Drake's gonna have one in the tuck. I have one to talk, but I don't think I don't think they fuck with each other enough to do that. Oh, shit you now. oh you you talking about the combo? Yeah, the combo. Like oh. I want the top art because like when. Swag Like Us came out Over Forever came out They were all at the top Of their game they don't, like, uh, they don't even do that anymore I think niggas don't fuck With each other enough They don't But I wish <laughs> they did I don't know Maybe I don't know Maybe again It's been a whole year Of us not really getting Like hit hit hits From the rappers So maybe they've been Recording shit I don't know I've been hearing Little inklings of, We'll see We'll yeah. see We'll see and it's not a music podcast, but we we, we deep dive in music. Yeah, right yeah, it's not a music, but we love you know we, we love do. music. We do. We talk about culture here, so that's part of culture. It is a part of culture, very much a part of culture. And no one else is part of culture. <laughs> Fucking vegans. Now I'm not even going with my vegan man right so now. You about to, you about to, you about to, <laughs> you understand what you're doing right now? You're opening up Pandora's boxes. Yeah, box. you about to come in with all the smoke. <laughs> Yo, all right. So let me tell you about my first vegan experience. I had a friend. Uh, from Houston that was uh, She was vegan And she was like Yo You need to try this type of food Like she gave me the exact type of food and I forget what it was But I went to the vegan spot That was under my apartment building <laughs> Brought that shit back upstairs That shit smelled good Like I brought it back upstairs And I was all hype I bit into that shit And I was like Yo what the fuck is this shit I feel like I just bit into like Play-Doh bro Yeah bro I'm not with the with the vegan food at all nah. bro. And it's kind of culty Like But they, but that's not The problem is like There is vegan food that is I'm I, I'm sure I've eaten food that is that qualifies as vegan. You know what I'm trying to say? Oh yeah. yeah. But but um. I love vegetables. Yeah, but they, it's like it's like the it's like the forex niggas. Like there's a cult. There is there is, and they always try to get in your they shit. They fuck it up you, for the regular vegan. Why you eat meat? Like blah, blah, blah. I'm, we're not talking about all vegans. We're talking no, about, no. We're talking about the vegans that are like I can't believe you eat meat. You're yeah. such a piece of shit. I mean, blah, 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 fuck yeah. you. Fuck that shit, bro. There's people. There's fitness bros that isn't that are in the same fucking category of like you're too much of a cult of a fitness. Bro. Oh yeah, you know the, I mean? the like, worst kind of fitness, fitness trainers that tell you like this is the only way to do shit. Yeah, you don't do this. You don't back squat all the time, bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what the fuck to do, son. Yeah. So yeah, we. We, we, we equally uh, dissing everybody here. On that's this podcast. facts. And fuck the Impossible Burger. That's just not real food. That's just delicious. You had one? Yeah, nigga. That's just. Have you tried it? No. Oh it no, you looks, gotta try. It. it looks like fake. It looks like fake meat. All right. So this is the this is this is the whole idea of that Burger King commercial is that they don't tell them that it's fake meat. So you gotta you gotta kind of just try it. Like you gotta. I don't know, man. You gotta tell somebody to give you a burger without telling you that it's an Impossible Burger. That's just fire. Nah, nah. I can't do it, dude. Because if it, it, it is. Of course it's fake meat Okay then like, destroy the ozone layer Like Bill Gates said nigga Yo Blame look, it on Dom Look Look Y'all can blame it on me Blame it on Dom I'm talking about look, look, I'm just saying Damn they might blame it on me <laughs> But I want the, I want the world to be healthy No you like, don't No 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 I want the world you to be healthy You eat beef all the time No I'm kidding Probably eat beef sometimes too That's what I'm saying But, but like But we gotta go back Not to become the super environmental podcast But is is it just the, is it the meat itself or is it the industry? You know what I'm saying? It's, that, it's that, the industry. It's how it's done. I think. I know, but yeah. if they just change. If they just change the industry, like if if I'm getting farm fed shit, then like it's not fucking up the ozone, so I can still eat the fucking beef. That's facts. I guess. I, I guess the problem is, can they mass produce the farm fed shit? That's figure that's, that shit out, niggas. That, that, that's it. That's what you gotta do, Gates. So yeah. instead of telling me not to eat fucking beef, I'm 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 I'm, I'm fighting on this on this ledge. Like I'm not letting it go. Yo, we definitely gonna have a uh, somewhere in the future. You you and Bill Gates are gonna have a conversation. Yo, me and Bill Gates about to have rap rap beef. <laughs> Bill Gates rapping, bro. Stop it. Yo, all right. Well, hey, if you can, if you uh, listen, if you can get Bill Gates to start a rap career, nigga, 
You win. <laughs> you win the year, bro. I'll sneak this in Bill Gates right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> there was one time where I was a kid and I really needed to take a poopy. Whoopty, I needed to take me a poopy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Whoopty, poopy. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> bro. I had to go and there was somebody that was, uh, one of my family members was in the upstairs bathroom and the, the basement was the scariest part of the house. Ooh. You know about basement, like oh, scary yeah, basements, basement, bro. Darkest, bro. Scary North Jersey basements. <laughs> <laughs> that's what dude, that's what the fucking floor sounded like when you step on the fucking steps. Like, <laughs> you gonna come down oh, here, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> so I fucking, I'm walking down the steps. I'm like, bro, I'm this shit is coming. I ran through the house. I'm going down the steps. I was like, this shit is coming out. It's coming out. I'm fucking at least 10 to 12 years old. Basically, I shouldn't shit my pants, but I reach for the door and the liquids release. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. Mushy shit I'm talking about, bro. I shit my pants oh. right there in that moment. Had to throw the whole pants out. Oh. Talk about an embarrassing moment. Oh, we talked about an embarrassing moment last week. Nah, that was an embarrassing. Luckily, like, honestly, my family's going to see this thing. They'll be like, well, you didn't tell us that. I hit that shit, bro. Through the whole, through the whole fucking pants. <laughs> I what was gonna do with that? That's true. How old are you? Uh, ten or twelve. Oh, well. but uh, <laughs> I, I, I also have a, a shit in yourself story. <laughs> but I wasn't ten or twelve. Bro, this is natural shit. This, see, this is what you get here. We don't hide shit. You get yeah, everything. About here. to get the authentic, authentic right now. <laughs> Al dente. I, oh no, I shouldn't Al even. <laughs> They can try to speak Italian. No, stop it. Yeah, all right. So, uh, so like I drive for Uber. So I drive for Uber. Still drive for Uber now, but yes, yes, driving, driving around. It was one of those days. I had a long day, so I was driving twelve hours this day. I was going to go twelve hours straight. Cause I'm like, yo, I'm the man. I could do anything. Fuck all this <laughs> shit. And I'm lactose intolerant, so I was eating all day. But I decided oh to go to God. Chick-fil-A, get a Chick-fil-A milkshake, cookies and cream, and shit was good as fuck. Yeah. I was like, yo, this is it. So I've been driving around. I was about, I was about eleven. It, it might have been like two o'clock in the morning. So I went from like two to two. And Damn. I, I really had to go to the bathroom, bro. But I was like, yeah, let me take this last ride because I hit my quota. I was, gonna get, I was trying to get my, whatever, I was gonna, whatever the number was, you trying yeah, to get that yeah, shit. I was, trying to, I was, I I was, I was one ride away. I was like, yo, I one feel. ride, I'll be good. I'll go home. I'm going to go take a poop. <laughs> I pick up this person. They want to drive 20 minutes away from where I live. I'm like, oh, fuck no. it. I got it. I got it. So I'm driving them. I'm like doing a little shit dance. Like, eat. So you're feeling it. I'm feeling it. it. So it is chilling. It is waiting. So what was the plan? That, right after you drop them off? Right after I drop them off, I'm going to go home. I'll be okay. I'll be good. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, I don't poop by this person in his car. I'll be okay. I'll be good. I'll be good. I got it. I got it. I'm driving. I'm feeling it. I'm holding it back. I'm holding my chest up. I'm like, <laughs> breathing <real> hard. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to have like fucking childbirth or some shit, but I'm, like, I'm good. Oh I'm good. God. I get to the person's house. I drop them off. I'm like, perfect. All right, I'm good. 20 minutes home. Speeding home like 50 minutes away, 12 minutes away, 10 minutes away. Fuck. I'm like, yo, I can't do this anymore. I drive to a 7 Eleven. I get out. I get there. No bathroom. No public bathroom. I'm like, this is it. And it's three o'clock in the morning, so I can't go anywhere inside. I'm like, dude, I just gotta make it home. I get in my car. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, oh, my stomach. I can't do anything. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Luckily, I always keep uh, plastic Ooh. bags in my car in case someone throws up. So I take all my plastic bags. I just put them. <laughs> no, I don't no. Put them underneath my pants, no. and I'm just like, ah. <laughs> oh my so I'm god. So I'm like, <laughs> no, no. Oh, that it was, was it was insane. so tragic. Bro, it was so tragic. Three o'clock. Yo, I've never been so hurt. I was just so Wait, what time was it in the morning? Three o'clock in the morning, bro. Oh my! I drove in to my fucking garage, <laughs> so salty, shit all in my pants. I had like a fucking diaper on, bro. Wait, wait, you? <laughs> please tell me nobody was in the elevator. Nobody like, was in the elevator, so oh my god, no one was there. So I got, I, I got <laughs> that would have been fucking terrible. My fucking, fucking basically a diaper at this point. Wait, all, so if somebody was in, if somebody had been in the elevator, you would have been fucked. I would have been so fucked. Oh so I walked out. I just walked down with my head disappointed, got in the crib, <laughs> got in the elevator, took it off, and I just saw like all this, I was like, this is disgusting. I can't believe this Yo. is me right now, dog. Bro, this, this that is, is when nature nature called quick. Oh, Didn't bro. go to voicemail and nature was just like, Yo, all right, we're gonna get this call off real quick. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> and shit yourself. <laughs> Oh, dude, yeah, that's incredible. Bro. It was it was tragic. Super transparent here on the Super Two Somethings podcast. Yo, Two Somethings. <laughs> you getting all the shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Literally. 
What can you do? What can you do? We what got fucking, you fucking do? armored. Oh my god! Yeah, that's was, incredible, yeah, bro. It was, it was, it was, that is a story. Thank you so much for blessing oh, no, us with no, that. No, no problem, bro. <laughs> no problem. Lesson learned. If you like, if you got a shit, just take it. Yeah, no, that's dangerous too. It is dangerous. Piss Literally, too. Dangerous. you gotta take a pistol, take the fucking piss. You go fucking hurt Literally yourself. Literally dangerous. Don't yeah. try to be Superman, Superwoman, Spider Man, Spider Woman. See how it's had it back in together again. Look at that. Look at uh, that. Only connecting, here. Connecting only dots. here. Only here. Mm-hmm. But definitely watch your shit. <laughs> watch your shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Today's lesson, kids. Watch your shit. Watch your shit. <laughs> Do something to the fuck. <laughs> um, so watch your shit. And um, if you guys want to. <laughs> this is how we ended the podcast. This is, and then, um, uh, yeah, we're going we're to bring this on home, guys. So if yeah, you guys yeah. want to check us out. Actually, a uh, question for the audience. Um, yes, if we were to do on the street interview type content, would you want that? Yes, please, please answer yes or no. Yes, but leave a comment below or hit us yes. up on Twitter at Dom Jackson Fit. Ding. Or at High Scales, High Skies LLC. Ding. I'll plug my own shit, nigga. Oh, I don't wait, need sorry. you to plug my shit. Oh. <laughs> Let's <Oopsie. laughs> Hit Oopsie. me up. Hit me up at High Skies LLC if you're trying to see my drone <laughs> media shit. And then hit me up personally at O A M J R, all on Instagram if you're trying to see, just hit me up personally, all right? Yeah, excuse me. Please. Mom. But yeah, if you guys have, if you guys want, if you guys want to see just some shit in the streets, yes, in the streets, in the real lives, yes. I mean, maybe not the street streets. We are equipped. No, 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 not not street streets. No, no, no. We, no, we bitch, we bitch ass niggas. Yeah, talking about like uh, you know, general interview content on the you know, the main streets. Yeah, outside, yeah, outside, yeah. not shit. the hood streets. No, we ain't built for that. Oh no, 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 <laughs> not at all. Bitch ass niggas. Bitch ass niggas. Oh my god! Thank y'all so much. We appreciate you so for much. Watching. Thank you for listening. For anybody listening, um, we Man, gonna we gonna keep doing this shit. Yeah, it's facts. Absolutely. Oh, we didn't do dope shit, but it's all right. Next time. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, nah, they fine. Man. That whole that whole episode was dope shit. Yeah, well, whole episode was dope shit. <laughs> 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 you know, we, we, they good. We, they love you guys. Right. Appreciate you. Have a great enjoy and take care.